So when we're evaluating for the value, basically all I want you to do is plug in. So it says x equals negative 2. So for every single time you see an x, plug in the number negative 2. And for every single time you see a 3, plug in the number 3. So we have negative 2. squared plus y is 3 times negative 2 minus 3 times 3 plus negative 2. Okay, so all those blues right there are what I have plugged in. Now notice every single time I plugged an answer in, I use parentheses, all right? And parentheses are so very, very important, ladies and gentlemen, um, when evaluating because quickly, and I didn't do an example here, I, if I would have made that a negative, would have made sense, but remember, if I had something like this, let's do, do this equation, five minus x, right? x is negative 2. So a lot of students will do this. Oh, well, it's negative 2, right? So you just put in a 2. No, no, no. It's 5. You've got to plug in. It's 5 minus x. x is equal to negative 2. So then we have a 5 minus a negative, which we know would be 5 plus 2, right? So that's why parentheses are so very important to make sure you guys have, especially something like this. Negative 2 squared is equal to negative 4. The Squaring of negative 2 is equal to positive 4. Remember the order of operations. You square the number first, then multiply by negative 1. But when everything's inside the parentheses, you're multiplying negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. So that's why that's 4. Plus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Um, minus 3 times 3 is 9. Plus a negative 2 is basically just minus 2 plus 2. Um, so therefore, I can do 4 minus, pretty much 4 plus a negative 6 is negative 2. This is 9 minus 2, which is 7, negative, and then plus 2. Negative 2 and the positive 2, completely out, and my final answer would be negative 7. Okay? All right, so some of your groups have.